going for Paul. I like the fact Paul bumped me up on a joke about that uh, you know, about a guy getting on the bus with a walking cane. <laughs> nice. Um, so guys, to tell you a little bit about myself, uh, I do have a physical disability. It's a condition from birth called multiple congenital muscular skeletal abnormalities, or as it's better known, slightly fucked up. <laughs> and uh, I mentioned that because I realize people can be a little curious about why I have the cane, and B, if you don't realize that I am disabled, the rest of these jokes are going to make me sound like a fucking asshole. <laughs> I wanted to get that out of the way. I um, I think they got a little redundant uh, when they were naming my condition because, like, the fact that abnormalities is plural, clearly you have some issues going on. <laughs> why, why throw in the word multiple? That's just like nothing it in. No, no, dude, seriously, you are really fucked up. <laughs> But it's funny, so fuck it, we'll go with it. Um, but, um, so yeah, I, um, I was reading my file from when I was a kid, my medical file, um, and the doctor actually referred to me, uh, said that Michael is a very sick uh, little boy, um, considering the fact he's no longer practicing because he molested patients, I think he should be careful about who he's calling sick. Um, but, uh, and the thing I found interesting is they refer to the condition as a mutation. And I'm okay with that, like, I don't mind being called, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I fucked up that joke. So I'm okay with that, I don't mind the fact that it's called a mutation, but I think if you're gonna call someone a mutant, uh, they should get their own Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> uh, I was thinking I could be wooden like that. And uh, I fight villains by kicking them in the head with my wooden leg. Uh, my arch nemesis would be the lumberjack. <laughs> my uh, my kryptonite, termites, um, or beavers would make Canada an interesting fucking choice of country. But anyway, um, and then we could have my own cereal. Sadly, fucked up O.O.s. Instead of being down, they'd be a little malformed. It'd be awesome. Oh, I realize slightly fucked up is not entirely politically correct. Um, but I think we've gone a little bit too far with the whole political correctness thing. Uh, the one I really hated was when they say challenge, and I'll tell you guys why. We all face challenges in life. And if we all face challenges, that means we all are challenged. And if we all are challenged, then where the hell am I going to park? <laughs> problem. I, um, and the other thing about political correctness, um, someone asked me recently, uh, what do you call the entrance that is accessible? And I asked them to tell them that this is true. I was at Cap Rangi Jones Shopping Center, and there's a sign that says, Real Share Entrance. And I'm like, okay, well, I thought segregation was over. <laughs> um, if they tell me that there's a wheelchair water fountain, I'm starting a fucking march. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's funny. How the fuck am I going to march? That's not going to be made for <laughs> uh, I'm good. They're going to put stairs in front of us. There's a fucking end of it. Um, <laughs> I actually just pictured to be like reeling out mobile stairs. That would be pretty funny, actually. Um, but uh, it was funny. I actually told uh, Joel, uh, I saw before, that joke, and he goes to me, Yeah, Michael, that's right. We're going to put you on the back of the bus. And I'm like, fuck, I'd be happy just if I could get on the bus. <laughs> I, uh, I would not mind the back of the bus. I, um, so, uh, guys, here's the other thing. Um, so, uh, a few comments, we're talking about online dating. Uh, I actually have tried doing online dating, and uh, the thing I find interesting about online dating is women who tend to hide behind the computer. Like, it'll be like, I once asked a girl, like, I understand that if you were to say, um, if I were to go and say, hey, do you want to come to my place for dinner? A little creepy, I understand that. But I'm like, well, what's wrong 
with going out to a public place for coffee, and she goes to me, well, what if you follow me home? Um, how out of shape are you that I would catch you? Um, honestly, I really took his time to start doing Pilates, is what it said. Um, uh, and I just had insult to injury, he tells me, yeah, I live on the 13th floor, and there's no elevator. Honestly, if I'm following you home, please do call 911, because by the fourth floor, I'm going to need it. Um, Guys, uh, before I start uh, the rest of the routine, I just want to uh, get the public service announcement out of the way. Alexia, the barmaid, asked me to uh, mention it. Um, a, um, please drink, enjoy, tip generously. She's splitting the tips with me. Um, and um, secondly, uh, please, if you are drinking, don't drive. Uh, we're going to do a simple test at the end of the night. If uh, if you guys are walking like me, we will take your car keys. Um, and if I'm walking like you, please take mine. Um, sometimes having a disability, you get weird questions. Uh, like I, actually, I do drive a car, and uh, I was in Ottawa this past weekend, and I was driving home, and I'm going to the gas station in Ottawa, and uh, the keypad was broken, so I had to go in to pay. So I go in, and the guy rings out my credit card and he goes, looks at me and goes, um, is there any way that you would be able to sign uh, the credit card receipt? Um, and I look at him, I'm like, usually I find with a pen to be useful. Um, because like realistically, um, dude, I just drove the car in on the highway. Um, if I can't master signing a credit card slip, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't fucking be driving a car. Um, I don't know, that just seemed weird to me. Um, you, you are late. You are good. The rest of you, you need work. Um, um, the thing I never understood is we all face challenges in life. And because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm going to go, Dave, is that true? We all face challenges in life. Yes. Yes, awesome. Yes. I was a little worried about doing that, but I see by I see by the look on your face you want to say something else. No. No? No. You okay? <laughs> You're shy? Who the fuck are you kidding? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but uh, you're shy and I'm going to go run a fucking marathon, okay? Oh boy. Um, actually, I always want to get ticketed for jaywalking because I figure I'm just going to show up in court and go, Your Honor. Um, talk to some sensitive assholes is the moral of the story. Um, it's a fun shouldn't say with a car car sitting there. But anyway, moving right along. So yeah, so I was talking about political correctness. We all face challenges in life. And if we all face challenges in life, that means we all are challenged. And if we all are challenged, then where the hell am I going to park? <laughs> I, um, and uh, guys, while we're on the topic of parking, I just want to address it. Um, putting your flasher on does not make it okay to park in disabled parking. Um, what? I agree. You agree? Wholeheartedly, I'm a cyclist. I hate motorists. You hate motorists? I hate motorists with a very deep passion. Yeah, yeah but any chance are you the fucking cyclist that nearly crashed into my wheelchair? <laughs> No, seriously, I'm crossing the street, I have a light, and a, a wheelchair comes, uh, not a wheelchair, a bike comes, like, zooming by, right in front of me, sorry, like, fucking late, okay, anyway, moving right along, um, what? Assholes can drive anything, assholes can drive anything, assholes are assholes, no matter how they get ready, I agree, you should see me in my wheelchair, um, I, uh, but, um, you're fucking throwing rocks at the guy in the wheelchair. Right? <laughs> 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 Alright, so what are you saying? So you tell a because I'm Jewish. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. uh, 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 u